Today on MTG Unpacked, it's a pack battle of the purple packs with four packs of Throne of Eldraine and four packs of Eldritch Moon. We'll also be checking out some mail from Chuckwagon MTG later in the video. So let's introduce the patrons. We have MTG Hermit and Bozza from Down Under. And with me to do the pack blessings, we have Urza or Jace. Yes, Jace. Let's take care of the pack blessings like so and assign the packs here. So MTG Hermit is getting the Eldritch Moon and Bozza will go for the Throne of Eldraine. So let's get started here. Start off with Throne of Eldraine for Bozza. Thank you for being a patron, sir. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils and anything over a buck. We have Outflank, Rose Thorn, Howard, Tempting Witch, Garenbrig Paladin, Eye Collector, Ouch, Scalding Cauldron, Brimstone Trebuchet, Crashing Drawbridge, Tall as a Beanstalk, Oh, a nice Showcase Shepherd of the Flock, so I'll put that over there, Frogify. Cauldron Familiar, and the rare is Erin Crag Pyromancer, Creature Human Wizard 0, 4 for 3. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, Erin Crag Pyromancer deals 3 damage to any target. And a, oh nice, Foil Swamp with this fantastic artwork. And a Plains, and a Food Token. Okay, so let's move this stuff up here. Do a bit of rearranging, alright. Eldritch Moon for MTG Hermit. Let's get stuck into it. So let's see if we can beat that. Okay, we have Prey Upon, Waxing Moon, Borrowed Grace, Blood Briar, Borrowed Malevolence, Stentia Innkeeper, Ironclad Slayer, Turn Aside, Alchemist Greeting, Prying questions, and this guy, I don't know what's happening there, he's getting his face removed or something. Subjugator Angel, Chilling Grasp, and rare is Coax from the Blind Eternities, a sorcery for three. You may choose an Eldrazi card you own from outside the game or in exile, reveal that card and put it into your hand. Well, that sounds like a fun one. Put that over there. I have no idea of the value. I'll find out in editing. And a Midnight Scavengers flips around into half a card. So that's the meld mechanic. And a checklist and a zombie token. Okay. So I would say probably the edge goes here. You got the showcase there for Bozza. All right, Throne of Eldraine. Let us continue. We have a prized griffin, wishful merfolk, seven dwarves, fell the pheasant, memory theft, and I'm skipping over cards again, mystic sanctuary, out muscle, prophet of the peak, red cat raiders, creature goblin warrior, very nice to see the goblins, keeper of fables, first uncommon, spectre shriek, Red Cap Melee, the Red Caps are at it again, and the rare is Acclaimed Contender. Creature Human Knight 3 3 for 3. When it enters the battlefield, if you control another knight, look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal a knight or a equipment or a legendary artifact card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And a foil Flutter Fox. A swamp and a MTG Arena card. Okay, back to Eldritch Moon. And has anybody seen the reveals for the mystery packs? Very cool. They reckon there's uh, over a thousand cards in the set. Uh, they've got these um, strange little test cards, and also they go back as far as um, what's it called again? Leave a note in the comments if you've checked that out. It'll come to me in a moment. We have Prey Upon, Cultist Staff, Succumb to Temptation, Woodcutter's Grit, Certain Death, Stentia Banquet, Guardian of Pilgrims, Convolute, Make Mischief, 
And uncommons, oh that's cool, Slayer's Cleaver. Bur Fury Blade Vampire, Spreading Flames, and the rare is Emrakul's Evangel. Creature Human Horror 3 2 for 3. You can tap Saka and any number of other non Eldrazi creatures. Put a 3 2 colorless Eldrazi Horror creature token onto the battlefield for each creature sacrificed this way. Alrighty, a Kessig Prowler flips around into a Sinuous Predator Eldrazi Werewolf. Apparently, that's the thing, Forest, and an Insect token. Alright, back to Throne of Eldraine. So I'm going to say we're probably still neck and neck here. There's no real outstanding things, a difference in value. Alright, we have Rimrock Knight. Outflank, Insatiable Appetite, Forever Young, Lockthwain Paladin, Witch's Cottage, Marileaf Rider, Silver Flame Ritual, Searing Barrage. And Uncommons, we have Skull Knocker Ogre. Edgewall Innkeeper, Order of Midnight, ooh, that's nice. Showcase Border, and the rare is Castle Garenbrig. So it's a land, enters the battlefield tapped, unless you control a forest, you can tap it for green, for two, and two green. Tap, add six green, spend this mana only to cast creature spells or activate abilities of creatures. Oh, very tasty. Fairy Guide Mother Foil Showcase. Alright, so Bozza is firing on all cylinders today. A Mountain and a Boar Token. Uh, that's going to be tough to beat. And I just remembered the name of that set in the Mystery Packs. So it is Mirage. So they've gone all the way back there. I don't know how many sets that is. So that's going to be pretty insane. Okay, we have Prey Upon. Waxing Moon, Wolf Can Bond, Succumb to Temptation, Bloodbriar, Exultant Cultist, Borrowed Hostility, Cathar's Shield, Lunark Mantle, and Uncommon's Long Road Home. Insatiable Gorges, Dusk Feaster, and the rare is Distended Mindbender, Creature Eldrazi Insect. Holy moly. Didn't even know that was a thing. 5-5 five, five for 8. Has emerged 5 and 2 black. You may cast a spell by a second creature and paying the emerge cost reduced by that creature's converted mana cost. And you cast Distended Mindbender. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. Choose from a non-land card with converted mana cost 3 or less and a card with converted mana cost 4 or greater. The player discards those cards. Alright. And a Grafrats flips around into a Chittering Host. Alright, I think that, does that go with the other one? Midnight Scavengers... I'm not sure... Oh, Chittering Host, okay. Ah, alright, so we've got the whole card there, I'll show that in a moment. Mountain and an Insect Token. Yeah, so this is the meld mechanic, I'll put those in as well. So you got both halves of the card, the Chittering Host, Eldrazi Horror. Alright, so let's pop that over there. Okay, so Bozza, I believe, is still in the lead with that last juicy pack. Final pack here for Bozza. We have Merchant of the Vale, Youthful Knight, Rosethorn Acolyte, Lash of Thorns, Barrow Witches, Weapon Rack, Beloved Princess, Vantress Paladin, Henge Walker, Uncommon Sir Cara the Bold, Fireborn Knight, Sage of the Falls, and the rare is Sorceress Spyglass. So this is an artifact for two. As it enters the battlefield, look at an opponent's hand and choose any card name. Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name can't be activated unless they are mana abilities. Oh, a foil as well. You've got foils coming out your ears. Mantle of Tides. Alright, a Plains. And we're on an adventure. All right, so final pack here. MTG Hermit, Eldritch Moon, let's dig in. <clears throat> okay, we have Prey Upon, Cultist Staff, Olivia's Dragoon, Crossroads Consecrator, 
Steadfast Cathar Enlightened Maniac. Stentia Banquet, Guardian of Pilgrims, Blessed Alliance, First Uncommon. I've got all sorts of piles here. I'm not sure what's happening. That one can go over here. Okay, they can stay there. Scour the Laboratory, Foul Emissary, and oh, a mythic! And not just any mythic. Emrakul, the promised and legendary creature, Eldrazi, 1313 for 13. Emrakul, the promised and costs one less to cast for each card type among cards in your graveyard. And when you cast Emrakul, you gain control of target opponent during that player's next turn. After that turn, that player takes an extra turn as flying trample and protection from instance. All right. So MTG Hermit. I think uh, that card right there, he wins right away, unless that's dropped in value a fair bit, not sure. Extricator of Sin flips around into Extricator of Flesh. Eldrazi Horror, wonderful. And a Foil Displace. And a Checklist and a Zombie Token. Okay, so let's set these cards aside for you guys. Thank you for being patrons once again. And leave a note in the comments who you think won that pack battle. Was it Eldritch Moon for MTG Hermit? Or did Bozza take the crown with Throne of Eldraine? Okay, so we're going to clear room here for the Chuck Wagon. So looking forward to what we have there. So I'm one of his patrons and always fun to see what I get each month. Let's dig into it. And if you have not checked out Chuck Wagon MTG's channel, I'll pop a link up in the corner and also in the video description. Cracks Packs has deck text, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so what do we have here? A bit of a note. Patron rewards. So very cool. So check it out. Alright, so now I'll get the knife out because he packs these things very well indeed. If I can get through without destroying everything, that would be quite an accomplishment. Now I have to start hacking through. Oh, 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 got it. Okay. So let's see what we've got here this month. Okay, we'll start off here. That looks like a foil. Actually, there's a couple of foils. We'll take them out of the... Uh... Oh, there's a couple of cards here. That's pretty sneaky. Let's see. So, we have... A rare Stolen by the Fey foil. Sorcery for X and 2 blue. Return target creature with command mana cost X to its owner's hand. You create X, 1, 1 blue fairy creature tokens with flying. Nice foiling on that one. And a foil Silver Flame Squire. Alright, we've also got another... Looks like there's a couple of cards in here, yep. Okay, so we have a very nice Full Art Forest here from BFZ. Fantastic artwork. And a rare foil Shadowed Caravel from Ixalan. Artifact Vehicle 2 for 2 Another creature you control explores per day, plus one, plus one counter on Shadowed Caravel. You can crew it for two. Some subtle foiling on that one. Alright, so let's dig through the rest here. Oh, that's a nice pull. Eternal Witness. Creature Human Shaman 2-1 for three. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. We get a rare Parhelion 2 Legendary Artifact Vehicle. All right, from War of the Spark, Castle Garenbrig. I think we saw that one earlier. That's pretty cool. Feyborrow Elder, Creature Tree Folk Druid, 0, zero for 3. It has Vigilance. It's plus 1, plus 1 for each color among permanents you control. You can tap for each color among permanents you control. Add one mana of that color. A Conquering Manticore. Check out that fearsome looking beast. And we also have Iceberg Cancrix, Archaeomancer, Goblin Battle Jester, yes! Love the Goblins, Elvish Berserker from, what is that, Exodus? 
Oriok Sun Chaser, Arrest Zeal, Scolding Devil, Under City's Embrace, Moment of Heroism, and Unsummon. All right, so there we are. Those are my goodies from Chuck Wagon MTG this month, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.